Hello and welcome back to Ross Taylor Woodworks. Uh, we're back with our uh, cherry chest. Uh, we're going to be doing all the veneer. We're going to be making veneer. Um, and I've decided to uh, change to cherry veneer. Uh, this originally had mahogany veneer. We discussed this last time. It had mahogany veneer on all these rails and the posts. So I'm going to change to a cherry veneer and we're going to be making all that. In the first video, um, we discussed the top was it all original um, and it was never removed. But unfortunately, I'm going to have to uh, take it off. Um, there's almost no overhang here in the front and we're going to be adding veneer on the front here. About an eighth inch thick veneer. So it's going to be almost flush with the top. So this has to come off and then be shifted forward a little bit so it has a little bit of an overhang okay we're going to start taking the top off uh, we got three screws on the front and two inside and then two more in the back uh, I find it helpful to use the impact driver to help break these uh, screws loose and back them out real quickly We're going to label all the screws so we know where they go back. Okay, here I'm using the random orbit sander with a 60 grit to clean up the rails. Got this uh, mahogany veneer. Uh, we're going to strip this off. Um, ready to start making veneer. I've got this really nice piece of uh, figured cherry I'm going to use. And marking out the pieces I need. And okay, here we're going to rip the strips for the rails. Uh, I've set the fence to 3 16 of an inch and the board is milled to just a little bit thicker than the rails. Okay, we're ready to uh, rip the strips for the uh, posts and the same thickness and I've got the blade set to just above half the height and the board is jointed on one face then jointed on one edge and then ripped to rough width. It is very important that the blade be uh, perfectly square with the table. Uh, 
Okay, next is the piece for the top and bottom rails. And once again, the blade is set about half the height. Okay, now we're going to run them through the drum sander and thin them down to one eighth of an inch. Uh, this is much better than uh, trying to run them through the planer. They're just much too thin to run through the planer. And you also get a much smoother finish. You don't get any chip out. Okay, we finished making our veneer. Um, it's eighth inch thick. And I've got two book matched pieces for the uh, posts here. And we'll go ahead and start gluing those in place. Okay, here I'm uh, filing the uh, face frames just to help square them up and rough them up to get a good uh, key with the glue. Okay, when we put the veneer in, we want to have it just flush or slight overhang on the inside. Okay, we want the same thing here. We want either just flush or slightly overhanging on top and bottom. And then later on, we're going to file that flush with the rail. Okay, uh, we've got all our veneer on and we're ready to start cleaning up the veneer. Uh, first step is to uh, clean down the edges uh, flush. Uh, 
On the uh, rails, uh, I'm going to use uh, a couple files. Uh, first a uh, grasp and then a uh, bastard file to uh, get the veneer flush. Okay, the next step is to uh, use a cabinet scraper and clean up the surface of the wood and also gives it more of an authentic appearance. <laughs> 